In this chapter, we want to look at what's called systems of equations. Now, a system of equations is just this. A system is a set or collection of equations. So a system of equations is just a set or a collection of equations. Okay, And let's just give an example of what a system looks like. An example of a system could be something like this. x minus y equals 5 and 2x plus y equals 4. This is an example of a system of equations. A system of equations. You have two different equations and we use this curly bracket here to indicate that this is a, a set or a system in this case. Now we need to understand what it means to be a solution. Okay, And a solution a solution to a system solution to a system is an ordered pair a solution to a system is an ordered pair that satisfies both equations a solution to a system is an ordered pair that satisfies both equations now when we talk about an ordered pair okay Remember when we're talking about an ordered pair, we're talking about, uh, say, uh, you know, x, y, and you know, an x, y point coordinates. So, for example, if I look here, if I look at x minus y equals five, uh, we know that the ordered pair is seven two. Seven two works in the equation x minus y equals five. And if you don't believe that, uh, look what happens whenever you plug that in. If I replace the x with 7 and the y with 2, does that equal 5? Well, yeah, it's easy to see that 7 minus 2 equals 5. However, does 7, 2 work in the other equation? Well, let's see. I've got 2x plus y equals 4, and I'm trying to replace the x with 7 and the y with 2. I'm trying to figure out, is this true? Is that a true statement? Well, when I do the math here, I see that I've got 14 plus 2, and this does not equal 4. So what we know is that although 7, 2 works in one equation, it doesn't work in the other one. So 7, 2 is not a solution. Okay, so we know this. We know that the ordered pair of 7, 2 is not a solution to the system. Okay. Well, it's not a solution to the system, so we need to figure out what are the ways, or how can we figure out what the solution is. Because guessing and checking is not going to be the best thing for us. It's going to be a waste of time, and you probably won't even end up with the right answer. So there are three methods that we have for solving a system of equations. Okay? We have three methods. And the first method we have is graphing. The second method we have is the substitution method. And the third is called the elimination method. Well, at least I call it the elimination method. Sometimes books call it something a little bit different, like the addition method or linear combination. But in my heart, it will always be the elimination method. So what we're going to do in the next series of videos is see how we can solve this system by using these three different methods.